Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is the 29th of August, 2016. Today I'm in Metairie, Louisiana. And today we are looking at bees underneath the floor joist. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, the bees are actually on this side of the little pier right here. So I'm, I think I'm going to remove this piece of material right here little access to it and uh, lower the insulation, find the bees and remove them. I don't know whether I'm going to vacuum them or just pull them out. We'll see how big the colony is. I don't think it's that big a one, but it may be. And uh, we'll get this job done. So by the grace of God, these girls right here, they're going to be coming back with to the Abbey with me um, this morning. So let's get busy and wrangle some bees. Before I start, I'd like to add one more thing. Give a shout out to uh, Sean and, Ka and Casey, owners of the house, and uh, let them know that I'm underneath here taking care of their bees. Sean says he wants a big hive. He doesn't want a little hive, but I, don't, I can't guarantee him anything about that. So, Sean and Casey, it's for you guys. area pretty much cleaned up. Got a little table to lie on my back on if I need to. So I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to pull the insulation down and show you what we got. Well, I found the hive, but I'm sorry to disappoint you, Sean. It really isn't that big. I'm going to grab the camera and show y'all what it looks like. There she blows. Not a real big one, but I can always look at this. You can already see the, the brood in there, judging from that comb, being that it's all white, probably soft. It's it, this this hive hasn't been in here maybe maybe two months. I'm gonna just go ahead and start cutting out comb and uh, looking for that queen. But it does look like a nice nice little colony. All right, time to stop looking and start doing. I think I got everything set up here. I got the vacuum set up. Hopefully the camera's in a position where, where y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and start vacuuming. Looking for that queen. Here we go. Good news, folks. Good news. God has blessed us with, yes sirree, Her Royal Majesty. Wow, that is so nice to catch the queen. It's on the fourth frame of a brood that I pulled out of there. Man, and this is a laying queen. She has got such a nice pattern. Really happy that I that, uh, managed to capture her instead of vacuuming her up. So I still got a few more frames to uh, vacuum up. I'm actually going to just put her on the outside, let some bees land on her, and back them all up. 
So let me finish vacuuming, cutting out some comb. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Whew, she's a beauty. All right. I think that's a wrap. All the comb's gone. 98% of the bees are gone. I'm going to make one more vacuum before I leave. And, uh, put the queen. You can see where I put her. Right up there, just to try to catch any more stragglers. But I'm going to vacuum one more time. And then head up to the Abbey. So go ahead, we'll pack up the truck. And then I'll see y'all up at the Abbey. But as far as Mattery, this job is over. Hot dog, I'm back up at the Abbey. My the Abbey's about, probably about a little over 37 miles from where it was this morning, grabbing these bees. And uh, you can see, let me show you. Here's the, uh, the bees in the, that are vacuumed up. And uh, you can see the queen. She, uh, she rode shotgun all the way back across the lake. Staying on top of those bees, letting them know she was there. I want to kind of move fast. Um, I don't want the sun to hit these girls too much. So this is the, the bees that we um, vacuumed up. And then in, in the box right there, this is the, the comb that I uh, pulled out. And I tell you, this queen, she is she's a really nice little layer. You've got some bees on it. Her pattern is really, really nice. Nothing on that one. Let's see if I can find one of those first ones. Were really nice. Look at this. Oh, yes, yeah, that's, that's full brood. Look, they got one coming out right now. Very nice. So the process is that I take the brood box, this box right here, and set it right on top of the vacuum box. And this screen right here, I'll pull this screen out. And when I pull that screen out, then all the bees that are inside there will then move up into the brood box. They'll go back and cover it. Um, I'll take the queen and place her in inside of there so they'll find her. And uh, and then uh, in a day or so, then I'll come back and release her and then actually set the, um, the box onto a screen bottom board. So uh, the vacuum box placed on the stand where I want it, and I'm going to take the strap off carefully. and. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the brood box right on top of this. Take the queen right here. I'm going to set her on the side while I put the uh, brood box on top. I'm going to pull out one of these frames, put the queen inside of it. So there she is on the bottom. Put this right back in there. Now our queen's in there. Put her inner cover on and her coat top on and uh, pull the screen. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the screen out, but before I do that, 
I'm going to close right now because uh, when I pull this thing out, the bees will come out and I um, really don't want to get stung at this point. So I'm going to pull it out and uh, get in the truck. So I'll say my goodbyes right now. So uh, for me, uh, St. Joseph Woodworks, the uh, back sponsor, um, all the monks here at the Abbey, thank you for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here. As soon as I pull this screen out, and here we go.